Hey guys, PlayStation 2 here. It's not spinning discs. You can hear when you're up at the console that's not spinning. You open it up, you see the disc won't be spinning. There is a little sensor here that's worth checking. But it's never really this one, it's nearly always the one that's kind of hidden here at the back. It's worth noting if you have the version of this slim that doesn't have the power brick, I think it's the 90900 series, they don't have this little switch to the back, so it won't be that if that's the model of console you have and it's not spinning. Getting into the PlayStation 2 Slim is super straightforward, just six screws. I like to save these stickers, but you can just pop them, rip them off if you want. Don't worry about those, those are just feet. Start pulling up this and start coming. Around this end, I always kind of feel like if you've never done it before, you think you're going to break it, but just pull at it, it will come. And back here is the switch. Here with the PlayStation powered on, I'll be quite careful if you have it powered on because you have light power coming in here. But we can see the sensor down here. So we're pressing down this sensor. I'm pressing down this one, or this should spin. There's a bit over on the case here, which makes contact with that sensor. A lot of people do here, and it does work as a temporary fix, but it could actually work as a long term fix. It's just take a little square of tape, push it over this to make contact with it. A lot of the times, though, this has stopped working. It's not because the case is making contact, it's because the pads actually just need to be resoldered a bit. They've come loose, maybe this one up here. So that's what I'm going to do next is take this part a bit more so I can get a good access here to the solder the pad. If you don't like soldering, just sticking a bit of tape onto the sensor to hold it down will work. The problem is longevity, it may not last, you know, it might last a couple of months, you might have to do it again. There is a bit now to go to get this down so you can access this, so I mean, if it is your console, I have to send this to a customer so I can't just tape it, but if it is your console, tape it might be the easiest option because there is a good bit of, of breaking down to now get where this can be accessed. I like to try and keep this ribbon attached to this shielding because if you pull it up you can run into the issue where it starts to ride up here and then start scratching the disc so it's, if you can keep it down. This should get you to a stage where this should lift that. Now just when I turn it over I am holding that laser. Just so it doesn't fall.
is a screw down under this post as well. Don't forget. And also, remember to take this ribbon out. Okay guys, here we are and we're just going to reflow the solder on these. These are 10 off fill points so it only goes too mad. The other thing that's worth doing while you're in here is this CR2032 battery. I just measure it before I do, but there. That's a 2.7. So we're in here. I mean, this, this has probably been in here for 20 years. So, no, I'll just pop a new one in. We've gone this far into the console. I mean, no one might be in here again, ever, so now's the time. See, this one's getting 3.3 volts. Oh, you can't see. These new ones getting 3.3 volts, so we're doing while we're in here. Right, give the board a bit of a dust and a clean. So now it's time to start putting everything back together.
just going to give the console a quick test. Now this won't tell us if it's fixed because we was able to make it work like this anyway. <coughs> but I'm going to give us an idea that at least the console back together correct. I'm putting the lid back on, be very careful with this little sensor up here. As it comes through its hole, you don't want to damage it. It's good, I can hear the disc is spinning, so now with just the lid closed it is. So I'll bring it back over to the TV, to see if it actually works. Okay guys, here we are back at the TV. I hear this spinning. So the game is loading. The motor sounds a little bit off to me, but I've never actually heard this console before so I'm not sure how it was there does seem to be a little bit of damage to the cap on the spindle motor I might replace that but the console wasn't this this, this sensor wasn't working and it's now back working if this was my console I think I might be happy just to tape it because there is a lot of taking apart to get down to solder it and the tape could last for months i don't know it could last for years it's just when i'm giving it back to a customer i don't want to put tape on it for it then to come off after two months and then the thing the console is broke again okay guys that's it thanks for watching